Good morning. It is clear as clear can be out here this morning, which is very nice. Um, and it's not even 60 degrees yet. Yes. Living for it. Um, and I was sitting there thinking inside as I was getting my second cup of coffee that I have here that I'm afeard I might knock off of my armrest that it was so stinking hot inside the house. It was 71 degrees inside the house and I felt like I was sweating to death. Ugh. And that had me thinking <laughs> that I, you know, that's just the way it is, right? I tend to have an extremist kind of personality whenever it comes to food and eating everything or nothing. Like I'm an abstainer versus a moderator who can have a little bit and be fine. No, I'm an all or nothing kind of person. And I realized that that's kind of true for seasons as well. I think maybe the reason I dislike fall and spring is because they're so moderate. They're just, they're just so like right there. They're comfortable in the middle and I need the extremes. Like if it was 90 degrees in the house, I would accept it. It's like, okay, it's, it's hot and we're doing life. Or, or if it was like 40 degrees in the house, I would say, all right, I accept. This is what it is. But here we are and it's 70 degrees, which for most people would be like comfortable pushing cool. I don't know. Um, I, I am just like dying. <laughs> and I was thinking about this um, maybe, maybe a week ago, how we can, like I personally, let's, let's talk in terms of me. I personally can tolerate immense pain. And I can, I can muscle my way through it. I can overcome it mentally. I can physically deal with it and accept it for what it is. But when it comes to like minor discomforts, I'm like, I, I'm out. I cannot do my life. I am, I am all done. A minor discomfort is, is the worst thing on the planet. And so <laughs> it's kind of like, it's just like all of these little pieces of the puzzle constantly re-solidify in my mind that I tend to be an extremist. And I struggle with that because oftentimes I wonder, do I just accept it and try to work within that, that, that framework? Or do I try to break free from the mold and become different? And I don't know what the right answer is. I'm not sure anybody does. But anyway, we're just drinking black coffee here for a few minutes in the peace and quiet. And... Then we will carry on with, with today's agenda. Here is my first meal of the day. I have four slices of bacon. The Z-Star does such a nice job with bacon. I have those four eggs and I do fry them um, to where the yolks are kind of a medium doneness. I added on some of my homemade mayonnaise and some Cholula 
And then I have that lemon habanero element for my drink. My breakfast was delicious. It was technically more of like a wicked late brunch, um, almost, almost lunch, but it hit the spot, four eggs, four slices of bacon, fantastical. The lemon habanero element is actually going away, which I mean, I'm sure a lot of people are, are excited about that, but I actually really like lemon habanero and mango chili. I just, I like those powerful, like spicy flavors. So I have a tiny, a tiny little place of sadness in my heart, but I still have a big box of like 30 sticks down in my basement storage space. So <laughs> I think I might make it. I just might make it. And I do think that mango chili wins out compared to lemon habanero. Lemon habanero. I think I tried to put a B in the middle of lemon. Wow. And it, um, but they're still both very good. So I'm very full at the moment, which is beautiful. But as you can see, I've got a bag. We have got places to go and I have a cup of black coffee. Tangent, I do have a link in my description box down below for Element. You can get a sample pack of their eight main flavors. When you use that link, I actually am not paid by them, not sponsored by them. I don't get any money back. If you use my link, it is just a link available to you. I also actually use that link every time that I order so that I can snag that additional eight free packets. So there is that. It is now dinner time and I'm hungry. Here is my second meal for today. We have a whole bunch of leftovers in the fridge, so we're all just doing our part to work on cleaning that up. Here I have some cheeseburger soup. It's just burger and um, some cauliflower and some other ingredients. Uh, I do not have a recipe video on this, but I should probably do that because that one, that one's pretty tasty. I also have a quarter head, uh, like a quarter of a small head of cabbage that I shredded up and fried in butter. And then I put on top some of my sloppy Joe mix. I do have a video for the sloppy Joe meat mixture here on my channel. And then I added my homemade mayonnaise. It's a staple food around these parts. All right. We are ready to go on our evening activities and I've brewed a cup of black decaf coffee for morale. Let's get sat down here in my favorite little spot on the front porch. Hey, um, it is the next morning. Last night we got home from evening activities and we were all exhausted. I struggled mightily. Oh, that's one of those big mayflies. That's what that is. Um, there's something buzzing around and I couldn't quite figure it out. It looked like floating feathers almost. Yesterday evening, we were at activities. My back just all of a sudden started to just ache in the worst possible way. It was, uh, it was very uncomfortable. So once we got home, got the kids to bed and settled in for the night, I was all done, all done with my life. I was ready to go to bed. So I had no more food for the rest of the day. So it seems like it was kind of like a light day on food, but I tell you what, that dinner was so huge. It, it by the time I had finished my sloppy Joe on cabbage, situation and moved on to the soup, I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm feeling it, but I know I'm going to be hungry later if I don't eat this now. So I might, I need to, I need to do this. Um, and I managed it. It wasn't like I felt like th Thanksgiving day, you know, overstuffed, but I was definitely full. Um, and then my coffee for morale situation, I think I wound up drinking half of that because my back just really started to to ache um, and it was just not good not good I had to lay on the floor for a while it was uh, no bueno but anyway 
it's all gone now. Nothing a good night's sleep can't help. And I'm not entirely sure what it was. We were in the car for quite a long period of time, you know, sitting for a while. I should have probably gotten out and just like walked around, but I had spent the majority of the day on my feet. So it just felt nice to sit. Um, so it might have been pain of my own making, but there we are. Anyway, little bugs landing on me. I hope to catch you in the next one.